Hello, my name is Roman Mironov, and this is a recording from my latest webinar about the Omega T's improvements. And today I want to cover one of the improvements that was introduced in the version 301, and that is called the Autocompleter. Please note that even though I will be discussing the improvement coming from the version 301, I will show you this improvement as of version 307, the current version. So if you are using versions below 307, you might not have the same functionality. Alright, I have an English to German project. And I inserted the machine translation output coming from the Microsoft Translator. I also added the Microsoft Glossary for this language combination. All right. Now to the autocompleter. You can call the autocompleter by pressing control plus space. When you do so, you get several views here. The first one is the glossary entrance, which is also the most important one. To cycle through the views, you need to press control plus space again, or control plus page down and control plus page up. Then we get audit text entries, missing tags, and character table. And then the view cycle to the very first <coughs> view, which is the glossary entries. All right, I'm going to close the autocompleter and insert the translations from the glossary as I would do before the version 301. That means by right-clicking the source terms. Now, I am able to do the same by using the autocompleter. That means I do not need to resort to my mouse anymore. I press Ctrl plus space and then I select the correct term using my keyboard arrow buttons. Okay, Zicher height. To select the term from the list, I simply need to press enter on the keyboard. And operator. Note that the autocompleter actually detects the text in front of the cursor and offers suggestions based on that text. For example, right now I don't have any words in front of the cursor, so I get all possible suggestions, the whole list of them. Whereas if I type S, for example, and then press Ctrl plus space, I only get the word, the suggestion that starts with S, Sicherheit. In the same manner, if I type A and press Ctrl plus space, I only get those suggestions that start with, right, A.
since with larger glossaries like this one, in my case, the Microsoft Glossary, the list of suggestions can be huge. This feature is very useful because it limits the list to just those suggestions that are likely to be the ones that you need. All right, I will now go to the next view, Control plus Space, and then Control plus Space again. This view is called the Audit Text Entries. And it allows you to insert common phrases in the translation from the list that you configured in the settings. For example, I have right now ASAP configured to be converted into as soon as possible. So I can type ASAP, press Control plus space, and then I get the suggestion, which I can enter by pressing enter as soon as possible. I also have, for example, this shortcut. So control plus space, enter. To add things to your list, you need to go to Options, Auto Completion, Auto Text. Here you need to click Add and then edit this new entry that has just been added. All right, I'm going to add a I am H O. Okay, and now as soon as I enter, as soon as I type MHO in the mega team, I can call the auto completer by pressing Control by space, and of course press Enter to type my phrase. Now, personally, I do not use this feature because I use the system-wide completer that works in all programs, not just in Omega T. For example, I have this shortcut for Omega T configured in my system-wide completer. And I can actually use it in, in any other program, not just in Omega T. For example, I can also use it in Notepad++. Makes more sense to me. The next view of the auto completer is missing tags, which, as the name implies, allows inserting the missing tags. For example, I'm going to insert the translation from the fuzzy match suggestion. And then I will remove all the tags by using the script remove tags written by Kosovan Sofa. Okay, so I, I don't have any tags anymore and I'm going to use this view, the missing tags, to insert them. Okay, I will place cursor in the place where I will insert the first tag. Okay. I press control plus space. Then I go to the next view by pressing control plus space again. Now I'm at the missing tags. As, and you can see that here I have the entire list of missing tags. So I don't have any tags in the translation. So the view suggests all the tags, all the possible tags. So I'm going to insert them by using enter again. As with all auto completer insertions, all suggestions. All right.
as soon as all the tags have been inserted, you can see that the autocompleter sends no suggestions. Note that, of course, you can achieve the same effect by using the shortcut for inserting the next missing tag. Okay, I'm going to remove all the tags again with the script and use the shortcut, which is Control plus T, to insert all missing tags one by one. personally I prefer using the shortcut but the autocompleter provides a more visual way to insert text so those of you who prefer to see things they would probably like the autocompleter more and finally the last view is the character table the character table and of course you can use this table to insert the various characters that are normally not found on a keyboard. For example, I don't have a pound sign, so I can use this view to insert it into the translation. Don't forget to press enter. Or I can insert the copyright sign like this. Again, as soon as I am at the very last view, which is the character table, I can press Control plus space to go back to the very first one, Glossary Entries. And now to the settings. The autocompleter has quite a few settings available through Options, Autocompletion, and here you select the actual part of the autocompleter that you want to configure. And for example, in the glossary settings, all settings are pretty intuitive. But I want to show you this one, display source terms, because it's quite important, I believe. Right now I have this checkbox enabled and I'm going to disable it for now. Okay. As you see now, I have only the suggestions. The autocompleter doesn't display the source terms. So this, this view appears cleaner, but the problem is that when you have a lot of glossary terms in, in the source text, in the source part of the segment, you can get confused. And this is why source terms can be very handy, because it might be easier for you to select a suggestion that you need based on the source term, not on the suggestion. Okay, I'm going to enable it back again. Options, auto completion, glossary, display source terms. Alright, and then I now get the source term and the suggestion. Personally, I prefer this way. I have already shown you the, the auto text settings window, but right now I'm going to show you how you can actually add, add things, not phrases, but common things that you normally do not find in, on a common keyboard, but you can configure them here to insert them conveniently. For example, if I want to have an EM dash, I can add here, for example. and I'm going to add a comment. Okay. And now I can 
and use the auto completer to insert it. Okay. And of course, do not forget that sometimes when you press Control plus space, you are not at the view that you need. For example, right now I'm at the missing text and I need the audit text entries. So you need to keep pressing Control plus space until you get to the view you need. In my case, this is audit text entries, and I press Enter to get the EM dash. This is it about the autocompleter. Thank you for your time.